Hi and welcome Scorpio Rising. Um, I'm Shivani and welcome to the channel. If you want to check out working with me personally, check out the links down below. Or if you're interested to gather, learn, heal and evolve through a bunch of healing resources, workshops, guides, I have gathered all of them at one place inside my membership called Jewels. You can check the link down below. Um, and if you want to book any human design readings, astrology, needle chart reading, or tarot reading, or you want to book at a healing session, all the links down below. Sign up to my newsletter for new offerings because we do have a number of them coming up this month. Okay, so hello Scorpio Rising. Let's look at your astrology first and then we move on to your cards. All right, so this month the may has been as you would have already so far seen it's been very 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 much focused on your relationships your seventh house is taurus and we have the sun in taurus we have the north node in taurus we have the mercury in taurus we have the uh, jupiter will be moving in taurus on 16th there's a heavy emphasis on your commitments in your house of marriage in your house of partnership and if you're say already married it could be your relationship anyway right or if you are not this could be your intimate connections it could be your one-on-one -on -one connections it could also be your professional connections which are more one-on-one -on -one. So seventh house is all about close relationships right like on a one-on-one -on -one basis right partnerships per se so this month your focus is on all of these things you are thinking about commitments you are thinking about marriage you are dreaming or about it or probably there are shakeups happening in this space right we've had the um full moon in scorpio happen in your uh wait probably which house i'm checking Oh, obviously your first house. <laughs> your first house, yes. So y you you really, really felt this eclipse, right? Unlike any of us. Like you really felt the Scorpion Taurus has felt it the most. You felt this eclipse. It has changed who you are, how you present to the world, how you share yourself to the world, right? You are just preparing to be on fire so even though right now you are feeling like a little like dull in your passion in your commitments hobbies or whatever i just want to let you know that it's prepare it's like there is the focus is on your relationships right now and please take the time to focus on it right now because things are going to get amped up in your career but after 20th may when Mars moves into Leo, which is your 10th house, which is your midheaven, which is like the space of your career and which is the space where things are really, you're going to feel really motivated to make some big changes or to uh, change things in your career or to uh, just launch something or just like do something big and surprising and aha kind of like, you know, like people are going to be like really like looking at you. But right now, before 20th May, things are really asking you to reflect, to study, to feel through whatever comes up when it comes to your relationships. Um, so if your relationships are taking space right now, don't get annoyed. Don't get like pissed. Take this as a time to uh look at things because your relationships are all of our relationships do give us a sense of safety and support so that we can like very you know like easily and fearlessly step out into the limelight as i said after 20 years that's where you're gonna be at so before this receive fill up your cup if you are like spending quality time with your loved one or uh uh, going on dates or doing just romantic nice things just by yourself or writing out your list of what you want to experience in your relationship like it's okay daydream it's okay fantasize it's okay experience if some of you are already in experiencing that if there are some shifts happening changes happening 
be open to it ask the universe to show you what it's got right uh i feel like you are also kind of like in a mood right now to study to travel to appreciate the beauty in life i feel because your venus and mars are going to be there in the your ninth house to 13 days almost like up until the 20th may so you would want to cuddle up and read a book or educate yourself or attend workshops or uh visit some nice places or explore the cafes in your town right that's kind of like the vibe to so go with it it's really refueling you right now you're really being recharged from these activities these this venetian beautiful energy and your relationships so that when it's time to step up and shine like the 10th house leo does obviously you are not bogged down or afraid or holding back because of any of the reason okay so let's pull out your cards and see what we have for tar uh, for from the tarot uh, and by the way yes of course uh, do check your moon as well as your venus or your rising sun or other signs because there might be messages for you there as well so let's see what we have for you for this month of may empress as i said of course this eclipse was about you guys of course you saw yourself as the empress you've seen yourself as the queen actually beyond the queen you've seen your light you've seen where you've been holding back you've seen how you have been uh playing small not letting people see your bad ass empress which vibe suddenly there's this like burst of energy which is coming through your energy for your reading and that's because you guys have been kind of like stuck in that space of looking at how far how much work i've put in and it's not going anywhere and i don't know what to do you've been in a space of stagnancy you've been in a space of just being like blah and suddenly you see your potential you see your true self You're like okay fuck it i'm the empress why am i feeling like this why am i feeding on to this lack why am i feeding on to i feel like you're having big prosperity abundance shifts because now you see ooh sorry ah uh, ah uh, i'm not in for that kind of energy because i am the empress yeah so what else let's see This eclipse has really made you aware about a lot of things. So will the new moon in Taurus on 19. Okay. Uh you're seeing money in a whole different light. You're like, "Ah, oh, I think I got it wrong." I'm just seeing things in a whole new perspective. And suddenly it's like some abundance has kind of like blessed upon you and i don't know if it's really tangible wealth or it is just the energy and the mindset which just gets like a huge reboot you suddenly are jolted out of your lack you see the truth you become aware about what's hidden what's stopping you what's holding you back and you remember why i'm the empress and i'm actually a witch <laughs> i'm actually a magician i can actually manifest whatever the heck i want to manifest and i don't know why i've been holding myself back like that's just so insane why was i doing that right you really feel that energy and when that happens the wheel of fortune starts turning in your favor by 20th may like if you like until 20th may lots of shifts inner shifts alchemy happens 20th may mars moves into the sign of leo 10th house and you're like ooh look at me and the world looks at you 
approval. It's like we see you, we recognize you. Because you've been in a waiting period for a long time. You've been like waiting for your tone. You've been waiting for the pulse to get on. And you know what's the beautiful thing about you? What actually gets you in the space of from this to this? How did you do it? Um, I practiced grace and generosity. Wow. You, 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 you cracked the cord. You're like, I'm abundant. And I decide that. Nothing else does. And you decide to be who you really are at the core of the Empress. And you decide to practice generosity with just what you have. And decide to be this open-hearted person that you knew deep inside you really are and you were not this. You knew it. And this. And you reclaim that aspect of you. And the, and the moment you do that, uh-uh. The hangman is like, Okay, we've gained the enlightenment that we needed to gain while we were in this stagnancy. Now we know, now we realize that we deserve this. That we are worthy of this. Even if we've never experienced this, even though we don't come from this space. A lot of you have not grown up into perfect families. I were not born into perfect families. But you still dream of this. You dream of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It takes a lot of strength and courage for for someone who is broken or just broken hearted to come into this awareness that it doesn't mean shit. It does not matter what my past looked like it doesn't matter what it all looked like i know this is where i'm going i know this is what i deserve and that's just so fantastic guys that's just so beautiful and fantastic when one just recognizes that sorry my past doesn't get to limit me my past doesn't get to stop me from going where i'm meant to go i am meant to flourish i was born to flourish you are flourishing big time i feel like when the mars comes into your midheaven your 10th house no one you're unstoppable if you want to launch something if you want to go ahead with a relationship if you want to announce a relationship to the world if you want to announce your new business venture to the world it's a great time like things are looking good guys it's just so lovers and the king of pentacles is it you it could be you or it could be someone you're manifesting you're attracting you're vibing with and that creates this beautiful two energy which is just so attractive and magnetic which just creates more abundance and that does not mean obviously that you don't work it does not mean that you're just like manifesting but the fun, the work just becomes like fun I do sense a sense of a sense of fear around getting back into the cycle of working hard and not feeling fulfilled by it. But at the same time, if you can just overcome this little bit of fear and still put in the work that you need to, that you're so good at, that's just so easy, easy for you. It's good stuff. It's looking so good, and I feel like your relationship, like. You guys are already, you have this empress energy, right? What happens when the empress finds someone to vibe with? This energy of two, this lover's energy, this co-creation, it's fire. If you want to seek help from your partner, please go ahead and do it. If you want to partner, if you want to collaborate right now, go ahead. The co-creation, it's mad sexy gosh this month looks 
so beautiful for you guys like i feel like there could be really moments where you have tears in your eyes because you feel so fulfilled and happy and touched because you're finally sitting on your throne and you have your black cat with you you finally there sitting on your throne this is this is like literally mid heaven leo 10th house leo vibe totally this is what happens when mars comes into your into your 10th house you own the space is a said the only thing you need to take care of is that fear doesn't bog you down fear doesn't tell you stories of why you can't win why you shouldn't do that thing why you shouldn't take action or remember this happened or remember uh uh and we're not listening to the fears right now because they are just not valid anymore you're not the same person anymore you have transformed and you have changed you're just someone totally new you know how to manage all of those expectations which come with being there on the throne you know how to handle the responsibility which comes with power this is the person you have been becoming on all this while yeah bottom of the deck two of pentacles if i haven't said this before saying it again partnerships co-creation collaborations they are a big yes right now don't hesitate to take help don't hesitate to invite in uh anybody to offer you support right now be the gracious feminine who who is not who is not shy to receive help or support okay it doesn't make you less it doesn't make you less of an empress you are still an empress an empress doesn't stop being an empress if she receives support or if it's just if someone carries uh her stuff or if someone holds her dress for her no she's still an empress She doesn't have to go and prove. Oh, I can pick my own dress. You know, we are moving out of that 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 paradigm. Uh, I do feel like if you have any resistance to receive, it's all coming from the past. It's all coming from the past relationships where you were probably involved in a situation ship or in a third party connection where things were not balanced. Or uh, yeah, we've got three of cups, three of pentacles. So. yeah those could be the reasons but it's important to remember it's all in the past yeah that's it for you guys thank you so much for being here i appreciate you so much let me know down below if this resonates and uh, i'll see you next time